Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 34 Episode 8. In the previous episode, we actually got the workshop started off. As you can see, we've got three workshop saws, three workshop presses, and we've got some metal detectors to stop people stealing things on their way out. We also got a couple more prisoners, and we have a total prisoner capacity of uh, 54. We currently have 53 because one person sadly got stabbed. Although we have had one person released. If we go to grading, one person has been released. I don't know whether that was early or whether it was paroled or whatever but either way that has happened we also don't really have any major problems with this thing it's actually running very very well what we're going to be doing this episode is hopefully progressing on and getting the workshop um, added more stuff in there. We do need to do a full shakedown because obviously we have a, a lot of tools and stuff away and just like floating around in places where we don't really want them to be. And I guess see how it goes because we are, we're not close to, why is that prison, is that, is that someone stuck there? No, that is just an armed guard who doesn't have a task which means he stands around there. Um, yeah, we... We, um, we're not, we're at a point now where we are pretty much done with the prison. I mean, we, obviously we do have to, we've got a couple of episodes, yeah. We do have to put flooring in and things like that, and money is a, is a big problem, as you can see. But, for the most part, it's there. You know, we have flooring to put in, which is the main issue. But other than that, there's just tweaks and changes and stuff. So, we'll see what the gang stuff brings. We also need to really sort our prison grading out. Let's have a quick look at our prison grading. So we're just going to go to our intelligence and go to uh, informants for a moment. I just want to check something. No, we don't have anyone that should be in protective custody. I'm just trying to see if we actually need to sort that out, but we can't do it anyway. Right, logistics, and we'll go to room quality. So, that person needs six, or requires six, so he should be moved over to there, you would think, but no, not at the moment. These require three, so I think it's about time we make some more, we make some changes to this area. So, I think what we'll do, we will make this centre bit here, we're going to make this a little bit better. So we're going to get a radio. I'm going to shove a radio on each one. Okay, that's going to up that level. We're going to do... Oh, we're not going to do any more because we're out of funds. Um, <laughs> I was going to put um, some of these... I was going to put radios in all of these cells, but apparently not. Apparently not. What the idea is, we'll have the outermost two at their, st their current level. Then we'll have the next two one or two higher, then the next two one or two higher until we get to the centre, which will be uh, level 10. I'm just going to, you can't see, but I'm using my fingers to, to work it out. So them two there, them two will be level 10. Then these will be eights, these will be sixes, these will be fours. That seems to work out. And then these ones here will be sort of twos and threes, and we might change these ones, but we'll see how far that goes. Look at that there, there's some mail. We've got some open mail. Fantastic. I wonder what that actually has. Apparently we've got a tunnel over there. Nah, that's not the case. I wonder what that actually is. Oh, open mail lock. At least the mail's getting delivered, which is a good thing. Fantastic. Not bad at all. I've just realised that that door there I probably haven't connected up. And I can't remember anyone ever mentioning it, but we'll have a quick look. We'll go to utilities and we'll connect it up. And we'll say that that one... That one... No, it is connected up. That's fine. Uh, this CCTV monitor there, right? That's not actually doing anything at the moment. Currently, we have CCTV up and running, but we don't have any CCTV around there, around there, because we've just got guards. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to dismantle the CCTV monitor for the time being, because all it's doing is using power, and obviously having a guard standing there all the time is a bit of a waste. So we might as well move them off. We are currently on free time, but it will be changed eventually. I don't know why that... Now it is being monitored. Look at all the people in there. That is problematic. They really need to be moved. See, the thing is that these people that require a six a cell, a cell of six should really be moved to the higher cells, but they're not, which is why I still... I've been, I mean, I always mention it, but, you know, I really do think that there has to be some uh, improvements made to the cell quality system, just because it's better for prisoners to be in cells rather than be in the holding cell. It just doesn't make any sense to me, and they should and they should really be moved. These ones that require, have six should really be shifted over to the higher ones, even if they were only fours. At least it's better. Anyway, 
Enough of that, let's do a full shakedown. We're also going to say, let's have a full free fire as well. I generally, I think it's actually a good idea to put free fire and shakedown on because if people boot off, then, well, it's just generally a deterrent, isn't it? So we're having a full shakedown of this place. Obviously, we've got a perimeter wall on the outside and dogs in there, so that's as secure as we can really make it. So we're finding a couple of things. We've just removed the supply of stolen weapons. No, we haven't, apparently. That was done and now it's now now it's not done, so I don't know where there's, there's been another stolen weapon there, but we're trying to get this tool cleaner done which will give us a bit of cash uh, 20 grand in fact I'm just gonna go to our prisoner intake and I want to receive one prisoner because obviously we can have one prisoner so we might as well there we are anyway still searching stuff here we're finding a lot of contraband obviously all this will be will force them to go into uh, lockdown so they're gonna stay in the cells not a good idea to put them in solitary because it just takes far too long Three o'clock in the morning, going up to four now, and hopefully we'll get this uh, this full search done before any real uh, any real daytime stuff happens. Because as soon as they start moving around, it's big. It's really problematic. It's just a lot harder to search. We are almost done, but the danger the danger areas of this bit down the bottom looks like we're not finding anything there. We're not finding anything there. Danger levels going right down, and so far not good. Remove the supply of stolen tools and stolen weapons. We haven't done that yet. That's really interesting. Wow, okay. This is one. Remove the supply of stolen tools and weapons we have not got done. I've never seen that. So where could they be hiding them? In tunnels, I guess, by the power of deduction. Or we just have missed something. Guards are not perfect. I mean, they can do that, I guess. Hmm. Tools and weapons, there's still supply for it. Wow. Right, okay. Fine. Search cell. Search cell. Search cell. Can do the same thing up here. Doing a manual search on the end. I'm not even going to bother with that side. These are the danger cells, these ones on this side. I haven't found anything, so I'm just going to give up, I guess. Say, so, yeah, that's fine. That's that's how it is. Uh, we've received one prisoner, and we're now on to 54, maximum 54. That's okay. We need to just check our room quality, and as you can see, ah, we've got some prisoners actually going in there now, but they require six, but how come there's a two in there? The game doesn't really... Oh, no, that's seven, look! They require seven! They look grade one, and the occupant is entitled to a grade seven, but yet they're not putting them over there. Come on, game. Sort yourself out. Right. So we still haven't removed the supply of stolen things. That's contains a, that box contains a light. What I'm going to do is actually place some of the lights, because we've got 21 lights not really doing anything. I could place them outside. Would it be a good idea? Big row of lights down the middle? <laughs> That would light the thing up, wouldn't it? Uh, do we have any power in there? We don't, which means I would have to lay power. I wish I could sell them. Can you sell? <laughs> really want to sell. No, you can only dump them, sadly. Ah, well. Danger level's going up. I want to know why. Serious complaints. I'm guessing searching, being searched. Needs, there's a sleep need there. That's weird. We had a nice bit of sleep. Okay, that's something to keep an eye on, I guess. Um, is there anyone, anyone working in the workshop? Let's have a look at our, our programs a second. Workshop safety induction. We've only got one person on that one. Danger level's going back down, I guess. Hmm. Not too bad. Alcoholics group therapy. We're going to start that. There's one person in the queue. Costs 200 per session, which means we're going to down. To, we're now on 23 daily cash flow. So it's um, it's not a lot. It's not fl not a lot. I'm going to stop the kitchen health and safety because nobody's in the queue for that one. It's okay. Five finished, four passed. Nobody's interested. You see. Just check that one. Guard test certification. There's one interested, but we. Not pretty bothered with that one. Alcoholics, one's in group, one passed in parole hearing. Oh, yeah, so the person we let go was paroled. That's okay. 
Kitchen safety, you know, fine. Can't be apprenticeship, obviously nothing yet. Education for that one, no. Foundation education program, we got four in the queue, that's good. Yeah, okay, so that's okay. And obviously we got behavioral therapy running as well, which hopefully stops it all uh, kicking off. Right, we do need to do another shakedown. There's the behavioral therapy going there. That's broken foot, you see. Hmm. Right, behavioral therapy's going on. We've got nobody real training for the workshop. We are getting 93 generic credits a day. We could start sacking people to sort of make it a little bit more efficient. Let's fire a couple of workers because we don't need all them workers. In fact, we're going to fire up to... We'll just keep four, and that's all we really need. That's give us a bit of a boost there. Not bad at all. We could fire a couple of cooks, I believe, because we've got more people working in the kitchen. Now, this is actually... This is what I've just done there. It's weird. I've just I've just fired some workers. Obviously, they're the ones that build a prison. You could argue that well, that makes sense. You know, you get you you hire workers, they build something, and then they go on to their next job. That's a very very. You know, I think I think everybody understands that system and that it works, right? That's fine. There's a guy holding something. What's he holding? Looks like a book. Yeah, he's got a, a red book. I'll be taking it back, I guess. But I've just fired some of the staff in the kitchen. Right? And someone's had a pee on the floor. What a dirty, dirty bugger. Um, I've just I've just fired some stuff in the kitchen. And my my reasoning for doing that was because I have enough people. I have enough... Uh, I have... Oh! Oh! I've just found some uh, some items there. <laughs> Equipment shank. I've just found shanks. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'm just going to go to intake before I forget. Close that off. Yeah, I've just... I've just sacked... Some staff because I, I I reasoned well now we got we got prisoners now working there we don't need as many cooks. Is that the right thing to do? You know, we've we've hired them we've paid them they've worked hard you know we've had no problems with them no complaints, right? Imagine if that was real life. Imagine if you come in and say yeah we're going to the kitchen yeah and then you you know you bring people in from the outside cooks and they'll cook things but you get the prisoners working there and then say actually no the prisoners you you've taught the prisoners up now they're going they 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 now have your jobs and they're going to work for you know 10 times less is that right don't know don't know is it right um i don't i don't think it's right but then you could argue that you could argue, I guess, quite successfully that, well, at the end of the day, it's, it's it's sort of vocational training, isn't it? You're you're getting them, you know, so you can get a job. You know, you're teaching them skills, and then when they go out there, they will actually get a job. You could argue that that's the right thing to do. I'm also a bit of a violence over here, you can hear. Who's that? Matt Darley, sentenced to six years. Seven years for torture. Good grief. <laughs> torture. More fighting as well. James Morgan. Why it's booting? I don't know why it's booting off. Anyway, we've uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You, you could argue that maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. I mean, I think it's I think the whole point is that it's very very dodgy. You don't really know. I've just done a that, that grant there. That was uh, the drugs grant, and it went straight away. So I might as well get three more hidden. You see, we won't really get for a while. I could get cell block C, but I'll never complete it. So it's basically ten grand in my pocket. That's all it is. We're never going to pass the education reform program. We could do the manufacturing facility. Uh, nutritional research is really dodgy. I'm not going to bother with it. Still, block C. They'll give us a bit of money. We've got 44,000. Uh, 227 generic credits. That's fine. Let's go to our utilities and to the capacitor. I'm going to put capacitors in. And then we're going to put some saws in. Uh, one, two, so that's eight. Um, nine, ten. Yeah, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. And we could also go for a carpenter table. I guess put them down there would be best, wouldn't it? I don't think we're ever going to get the carpenter carpentry done, but there it is. It's in. Um, actually, I'm not going to put that one there. Put it there. And then people can walk around and stuff. Um, that's most that done. What else do we need to do? I've got a bit of money, but not a lot of money. I'm going to speed up to max speed. And Ooh, I've just... I've just way look at that. Way put the clock right in the center. I, I knew you could shift it, but that's still a surprise when I went... Oh, hang on. I shifted that wrong. Shift it around. Um, right, we do need to get this staff room uh, a bit... Uh, well, 
bit better furnished, to be honest with you, because it's currently a bit crap, isn't it? Uh, we'll put a sofa wide in there, another sofa wide. We'll put a drinks machine opposite, like so. Another wide sofa. See, the thing is, they don't really sit. They don't sit down or anything. They don't sit down. Um, all of that's done. All of that's done. Storeroom's done. All of these areas are done. Kitchen's sorted. We don't really need any more in the kitchen. This area, we could put more phone booths at the back, but they don't get used as is, so that's fine. Shower is about right. I was going to put some benches in, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think that's that having a big open area in the middle works out. We have the holding cell there, security there. This currently doesn't do anything this room here and I don't think it ever will. If I wanted to I could make it a cleaning cupboard but I'm gonna leave it as is. I might I might as well put a bed and a toilet in like that. I mean why why not? I mean that you know gets it done I guess and we got we then have officially another cell. Uh, we'll go for cell and we'll designate that as cell there. We need to go down the bottom here and designate all them as cells as well. Now obviously they are really small. They are actually too small. I'm gonna put some stone solitary doors. No, we'll put jail doors on them, they'll be fine. Um these are really really too small to be official cells, but we're gonna furnish them anyway because I want to make it so we can have the, that is basically protective custody if we get that far small pipe needs to go across like so and there's them pretty much sorted I also want to place some more lights because I really want to get rid of them I've got lights just sitting around all over the place Doesn't really matter where I place them. I could place them outside, but it's a big pain because you have to end up, you have to power them up and stuff manually, and it's a huge, huge, huge mess on. Uh, one there maybe. Put loads of lights around the altar. <laughs> Ooh, just glowing away. <laughs> right, I'll put some more lights in here as well. And in there, and in the shop. I think that's about right. That keeps buying them, even though it says we've got a couple of lights spare. Ah, well. Right, at least we're going to get all of these out of, uh, all the stuff out of the storage and stuff. So, six grand. What can we do with six grand? Not a lot of stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, we could get some more flooring done. I'm, I'm going to go to planning and get rid of all of the walls and such, because that's pretty much done in terms of... Yeah, in terms of planning, we're pretty much done there. It's just the flooring and stuff we need to put in. Obviously, there's all the workshop saws and presses. These are getting all sort of connected up. That's a lot of power, and I think that will actually blow the grid, but we'll see how far that one goes. We are currently receiving uh, 854 generic units of currency a day. That's not bad. We need to get cell block C to raise my prisoner capacity to 100. Uh, which we'll never get. We're never going to do that. We're not going to expand this thing. Produce 30 license plates. 10 grand. But I don't think we've currently got anything going for that anyway. Let's just go for... Let's a quick look. One in the queue there. Two interested. One finished. 100% pass. So we currently have one person working in the workshop. It's currently eat time, so we don't actually. Uh, let me just check the food. I want to make sure that all prisoners are fed. Yes, all prisoners are fed, which is fine, which means that sacking them a couple of people in the kitchen isn't a problem, so we're good there. Right. Looks like people are getting searched as well on the way out, which is why we've got these metal detectors in there in the first place. Hmm. What do we need to do? What do we need to do? That's a cell. It's not yet built. Uh, how long will it take to get that done? Bureaucracy. Small cells is 10 grand. Permanent punishments is 5 grand. I'll get permanent punishments because it's something we definitely need. And produce 30 license plates. Someone's working. Oh, it's test as well. It's test, test, test. Well done, test. Come on, mate. Keep working. You're doing well. Hmm. Apparently, we've only taught him today's beverages. Um, lemon tea, by the way. Apparently, we've only taught him to uh, use the saw. He's just moving stuff around. Can you not use the press and produce license plates? That would be fantastic because I do want to start selling them. Hmm. It's weird, that, isn't it? I mean, we've got loads of prisons. I mean, gang members don't work, right? That's one of the things that's been specifically been stated that the gang members do not work in the facility, right? They just don't do it. 
they refuse to work, they will not get any money. Don't know how they get money. I don't know if they get money any other ways by punching people or whatever, but or like, you know, saying, uh, you want to give me some money? No. I uh, don't know if that actually is a thing, but no, the, uh, they don't work. But you would think that we've got five gang members, right? So that's, that's, that's uh, what, 49 more people that can work in this place. Yet, out of all of them, there's only two interested in working in the uh, workshop, which... Considering this entire thing is about 40 grand's worth of equipment in there, right? It's a bit pointless, isn't it? I mean, I'm never going to get that back in this playthrough. Never. Ever, ever. So, is there really any point in it? I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that it's a good thing. What happened there? That guy was working, then he just stopped working for some reason. That's weird. That is really weird. These are out of power because they haven't done these four there, and I don't know what else people are doing. Let me do a shakedown, because why not? And we'll see how far we get with stuff. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced that the workshop is useful anymore. It used to be totally OP. You know, you just place as much workshop as you want, and you're done. But now, no, nah, not so much. Uh, let me force these doors open for this guy to come in and place stuff. There we go. And let them out. There you go, mate. Tunnel found on the bottom there. Nope, it's just a dog being dogs. Don't know if three days of that incident, that guy requires uh, cell quality four. What do people require? Room quality. Oh God, there's look someone with eight. They they said they they should be they, they should be due eight. <laughs> That's zero. So the person that's been assigned that there, yeah, what a, what a, that's silly. The person that's been assigned that is requires or is is entitled to grade zero. That is that guy is entitled to grade eight, and yet he hasn't been moved over. They haven't been swapped. If this guy actually booted off, I'd probably say, yeah, you know what, you have some legitimate concerns there, sir. <laughs> certainly, certainly. Anyway, still searching, still looking for tunnels. Looks like we still haven't found any. Don't know whether that's a good thing that you haven't found tunnels. I think it's actually a good thing that you have found tunnels now. Yes, I found tunnels because you know that they've been... If you find a tunnel, it means that you they were tunneling and you found it and there's no problem anymore. If you don't find tunnels, it's either that there ain't any tunnels or that you have searched and then there is still one that you haven't found. That prospect is worse. That is a much worse prospect. Uh, going down here, it looks like that that actually we could have easily, you know, made this a little bit smaller. This area, you see, because we didn't we didn't need all these capacities. In fact, we didn't even need that row. Wow! Looking at that, actually, that power we might have been able to fit it on there if we were careful. But who knows? Who knows? Right. So I've got two hundred and ninety nine generic units of currency, receiving one thousand and fifty three a day. That's quite good. Actually, now that I look at that one, we're not going to produce. Well, we need to produce thirty license plates. I don't think we'll ever do that. We are. I guess people are people are buying stuff now in the shop. Do we get that money if they buy things in the shop? I don't know how it works. One thing though, I do want to put some materials down. I'm going to put it to normal speed. Ah, oh, I can't. Hang on. That's a shop intake. We just bought loads of stuff. I wanted to place a bit of flooring for them there, but that's not going to happen, is it? Come on. Come on, max speed then. Look at them. They're all standing around the shop. And I don't know what they're doing. I think they're just selling stuff, aren't they? Yeah. But then we keep buying stuff in. <laughs> um, That shop's doing quite well. I wonder if there's a way we can find out. Is it in valuation? See how much we've sold in the shop. Starting grant, there we go. Bank loans, non cash, minus 13. Stock and material, fishing fittings. No penalties. I, I don't know. I have no idea. We could sell some of our shares and get a bit of money. Yeah. I'm going to sell some shares. We've got a bit of money now, so we can get on with some more things. Concrete there, so they can, st they can stand there. What I think I'll do as well, in fact, I might. Concrete. Four either side. Put a bench there. As if you're waiting for the shop. I like that. That seems to work for me. 
Right, let's play some tilings. Uh, play some white tiles all the way along there. And in these bits here as well. There we are. Going to do the same for the laundry. And we'll put some concrete floor like that. Uh, white tiles go in the infirmary. And might as well put it in there as well in the in the psychologist's office. White tiles can go in the kitchen and the canteen. There we are. All the way along. To there. Yep. I have been wanting to do this for a while. Concrete will go all the way along this walkway because it's faster for the guard to walk. And I've been meaning to do that for quite some time. And any other white tiles to go in other places? I think that's about sorted. Concrete will go... Oh, actually, white tile that area as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, concrete will go all the way down here. I think we'll change reception up. I don't know if we'll redo reception. Let's just put them bits in there. Storage is concrete as well. Uh, might change the shop. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't know what to do with all of this bit around here. Um, probably leave it. I'm going to sell some more shares. There we go. So we've got 33 grand. And actually get small cells. And we could get tax relief. But there's no point. I mean, all the all tax relief gives us, it's 10 grand to do it. And it gives us, we basically make a little bit more money in the workshop. But with only test, test, test working in there, it's not exactly a powerhouse of industry, is it? So, pff, what else am I supposed to do? Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. So far, this place is running fantastically well. Next episode, I want to get the grading finished on the cells at the top. I want to get probably these cells finished off with some permanent punishments and probably get the... Actually, now that I think about it, probably get everything done. I mean, we're pretty much there. We, we, we did very well at the start by getting loads of things added quickly. Because we're not uh, a very high-capacity prison, we obviously reached capacity quite early and that means we just progressed on quite nicely. So far, the gangs have been quite uneventful and... And there's been, I know a couple of people have said in the comments, oh, well, you know, at least it's, be, it's a mixed bag, right? Most people are saying, well, it's running fine. That's what it's supposed to be. It's, this, is, this, is, this isn't about the fighting and stuff. This is a construction series. But other people are saying, oh, well, you know, it's not, you know, the gangs make it, it's supposed to make it interesting and harder. But so far, there's been no problems at all. And I agree. But the gangs don't really fight that way. And obviously, Alpha Game is Alpha. It's still in development and such. But yeah, I guess... The gangs have made it... We've had to think a bit more about the gangs, but because we've run the prison and I've, you know, I've done quite well here, there's been no bother. You know, if there's nothing for them to boot off for and they won't start fighting in the first place, then, you know, we're just... We're, we're, we're just keeping them suppressed. I think that's another thing as well. I've got armed guards walking around on free fire. That stops them fighting quite fast. Uh, yeah, you can see there's uh, 48 prisoners suppressed. Very compliant there. Shotguns are cool for that. Yeah. They'll happily stop people booting off. Apart from the one in the shower. Shame about that one. Anyway, comments in the comments. Next episode, we'll do all the things I mentioned. What do you think we should place in the visitation and uh, in the chapel and such for flooring? Don't know. Just make it a bit different. Obviously, we've got the sand, which is awesome. Just something to complement it. Now we're, now we're just doing interior design, which is a great shame of it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.